Good morning, my friends. This is Kim. Today, I wanted to show you what I found yesterday in my what was horribly weed infested garden, which you could see I still have a lot of cleanup to do. But this happens when you can't get out here for a couple of weeks because of rain and a extremely sick dog. But anyway, as I was cleaning yesterday, I found a new to me plant that I was very, very happy to find. And I thought I'd show it to you guys. This little plant right here, let me get you down there, is the common mallow. Now, some people call it the cheese plant because of the seed pods it develops. But the common mallow is really a cool plant. As you can see, it tends to grow very flat on the ground okay that's one of the characteristics of this plant and if you look at the leaves they remind you very much of a geranium plant by the look of them they have these beautifully little ruffled edges and they have very deep veins on the back when you rub them they're kind of soft and very silky feeling and if you rub them enough, they get a sticky, kind of a gelatinous, um, I don't want to call it goo, but that's what it is, because they're in the family of okra. They have a very pretty little flower that is wonderful in salads and things like that. In fact, the entire plant is completely edible. See if I can get that to focus good for you. Very cute little, little flower that's very nice in a salad. Now, let me set you up here a little bit better so I can talk about this further. All right, let's see. Trying to do this without using two hands is po not possible. Now, the reason they call it the cheese plant, let me pick a couple of these, is these cute little seed pods they get. They're round, and they look like little wheels of cheese. These little seed pods, or these little cheese, can be used as a capers substitute. And those are edible. They're kind of crispy. They don't have a very strong flavor, but they're definitely edible. They work really good in soups. The roots at one, at one time were used to make the original marshmallow. The entire plant can be used to help thicken soups. The leaves can be dried and used in a tea. The roots can be saved, especially the roots. Like I said, it's more of a thickening agent because it has very much like an okra texture. It's a great little plant that I found here. I was, I've been looking for them for a couple of years, and lo and behold, in my weed-infested garden, they just happen to pop up. So anyway, a new plant for me, the common mallow. Common mallow. It's very high in um, vitamins A and C. Of course, with any um, plant of this nature, you tend to get a lot of things like selenium, which is deficient in many diets, a little bit of iron, and just a general all-around edible plant that's easy to find in disturbed ground. So there you go, our plant of the day, common mallow.